To balance this equation, we have aluminum sulfate plus ammonium phosphate. So to balance the equation, we're going to use a bit of a trick that will make it a lot easier, a lot faster. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have two of these aluminum atoms, and then this SO4. This is called the sulfate ion. We have SO4 here. We have three of them. And then we have SO4 over here. Since we have it on both sides, we're going to count it as one thing. So we have one sulfate times three. That gives us three sulfates here. Same for this NH4. This is the ammonium ion. We have it here. We have it here. So we're going to treat it as just one thing. We have one ammonium ion times three. So we have three of these. Again, the phosphate ion. Here it is. And again. So we're just going to say we have one phosphate ion. Product side, we have one aluminum. We have one sulfate ion two of these ammonium ions, and then just one of the phosphate ions. So this is a lot neater, and it's going to make it a lot easier to balance the equation. Let's start by balancing the aluminum. We have two here and just one here. So we'll put a coefficient of two, one times two. That balances the aluminums, and then our phosphate. We have one phosphate times two. That'll give us two of these phosphates. Might as well balance the phosphates now. We have two here and one here. We'll put a two here. 2 times the 1 phosphate, that gives us 2 of those. And then we have the ammonium ion, 3 ammonium ions times 2. 3 times 2, that gives us 6. Over here, we'll just put a 3 in front of the ammonium sulfate. 3 times 2, that'll give us 6 of these ammonium ions here. That's balanced. 3 times the 1 sulfate, that'll give us 3. That's balanced. We're done. This equation is balanced. So it's a lot faster, and that really matters on exams. You can do these much quicker than if you counted up the individual atoms. And you'll still get the same answer either way. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al2SO43 plus NH43PO4. Thanks for watching.